Right, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and a very warm welcome to the Falcon Indoor Bowl Club here in Chelmsford, England. We are live for the SMPT World Pairs Masters Final, sponsored by Bowls Ears Bowls. Let's welcome your finest to the match. First up, they are the 2019 Pairs Masters Champions from Ireland, Ian Hobson and James Shaw. <laughs> and their opponents in the final, they are the current European Open Pairs champions. For England, Jack Pye and AJ Brown. Okay, we'll be off and running soon here. The 2023 Bowls is Bowls World Pairs Masters. Should be a really good final here. Two really good pairs. Ian Hobson, James Shaw from Ireland up against AJ Brown and Jack Pye of England. Ten ends to be played. England. Helps if we have a jack. There we go. So it's James to get us underway. And it should be easy to spot the bowls here. James and Ian are playing with the black bowls. Jack and AJ with the blue and the white bowls, respectively. Really good weekend we've had so far. Really good turnout for the pairs. We had a full complement of 128 pairs here today. And these are the final two. Playing for the 500 pounds and the World Masters pairs title. Just take this opportunity to thank our sponsor, Mark Courtney, Bowls is Bowls. Please take a look at their website. And the tagline, get involved. So really good start there from Jack on this first, no sorry, yeah, Jack on this first end. Ian's got a slightly unorthodox delivery, but it's so effective. Right, got a result there. AJ is left-handed, so yeah, just going to play down on his forehand, I think. Just try and spring the jack. Sprung it out, might be holding shots, bit of room there. <laughs> Big draw for Ian here. Got very big swinging bowls. Yeah, that's the shot. Just sit down behind. Yeah, very good. Have won this title previously. <laughs> Jay's just trying to draw this himself. So, yeah, it's going to drop. Great effort. So that'll be one shot to Ian. After the first end. No, 
And James gets underway again in two here. One on the first end. A good spot. Yeah, good start again from Jack. Let us know if you've got any questions. Can see your comments. Evening, Smithy. Thanks for joining us. Oh, really good. Yeah, a little grab there from James. Didn't quite grab it as clean as he would have liked. Yeah. Just trying to drop onto that black bowl. Just be under the line here. It's okay. You're holding the shot with the blue bowl still. And as you're just joining us, it's just one on the first end to Ian and James. Playing ten ends here. See Ian just drawing away. It's good here. Just need to bend back a bit more. Uh, wanted it to sit. Still a bit of room there for AJ. Alexis. Just ever so slightly short of the weight. All four of these players were involved in the British Isles Championships for England and Ireland last weekend. Speaking to a lot of the players who have played last weekend and saying how slow the mats were in Wales. These are definitely the best mats that you can get out there. So anyone is listening to many of the other associations, why green light mats are definitely the way forward. And why green original mats are just too slow on the indoor carpets. Good effort from Ian. He's down, one down still. And Chase has got a dead draw. And we'll try and fop the his own white bowl up for two. Yeah, I think as the sports move more to playing on side. I think as the uh, the sports move more to playing in, inside uh, indoor venues. Just using the same mats that we've always used on hard floor has definitely got to be looked at. It's not a great experience for those playing and it's not a great experience for those watching. So these mats, you can go out nice and wide. They've been right back. And weight's always fairly decent on these mats as well. So, one shot. All square after two ends. One all, two ends. <laughs> so, end three. Jets will get us underway. Good start, this. Yeah, really good. Did see a little bit of Jack's uh, previous matches here. He's, he's been leading very, very well. Backed up again by... AJ again, who's been playing very well. Ian and James are obviously very, very good players as well. Come through some very tough matches. As I mentioned earlier, a field of 128 pairs, biggest we've ever had.
It's a good bowling note from Jack again. He might not have quite reached the Jack, but he's where he's sat. He's very good. James has got the back position here. Good. Wanting to be the other side of the jack, on the back of the jack. Stop the jack from moving back. Back position's there. Ian's just got to try and hit this. It's not a great angle for him. Out to the line. I'll be reaching through this. Took one away. Makes it easier now for the connection. hands here for AJ onto his backhand. Has he sent this? Don't think he has. Needs to change the angle here. Uh, don't know if that's done enough. Change the angle. James is saying what Ian needs to do here. He's just join us. It's one all off two ends. This is the last bowl of end three. Not really AJ and Jack holding a couple here. Close here. Yeah, very good hit. Very good hit. Two shots to Ian. So 3-1 now after three ends. To see the plate final in the background. <laughs> yeah, great start. So before, if you've got any queries or questions, let us know. I can see the comments. Let us know who you're supporting, where you're watching from. Good reply from Jack. In the plate final, Alex Clay and Dimitri Payne are six and then up against Adam Dyche and Devon Wallace. Mm, a bit of a result there. Three one. Currently to Ian and James. One down in the head. Ian and James playing with the black balls. <laughs> Reaching through. Well, squeeze the jack out. <laughs> Wanted the jack clean now. Shut up. 
When the pace here, it's good here. Very good. Thank you, Neil. Thanks for joining us from South Africa. Hope you're enjoying the coverage. Yeah, very good uh, call that, Tommy. Uh, AJ and Jack were winners back in Heron Tools in the European Open, going for a double here. Hope you're both keeping well. Just held out there. Just the two. I don't think I'll get the third one in now. Looks like it's just the two. Puts them back to three all. So you're in the plate final. It's now 9 0 to Dimitri and Alex. that you might expect would do well in the well both of these pairs actually in the plate you would expect to do well you find yourself in a difficult group just waiting for the outcome of this outcome of this measure yeah Two shots, so all square, three all. After four. Start from Jack once again. Both these leads are playing very well. Jack down. I'll double check the ball. I'm sure it's uh, three or after. Weight was good, it was just a bit tight. Uh, James drawn a good one here. Very good. And sat down nicely. on his forehand to try and draw this off just the pace Let's see what hand Ian plays here either way just drawing in for another wants to be on the back of the jack back toucher Playing on the backhand. It's got a bit more cover on that backhand with AJ's last ball. It's a bit quick here. Wow. Uh, holds his hand up.
Yeah, put his hand up straight away. He was definitely reaching with that. It was definitely a lot heavier than I think he was looking for. Only leaves a dead draw for AJ. It's not easy, this. It's going to be a dead bowl, this. Great bowl from AJ. Needed it. Can only touch on that now. Any touch on that last ball should squeeze a jack through sideways. Is he good here? Was he just tight to it? He's got it. Oh, really good. Really good ball. Two shots. So three all. That now becomes five three after five ends. Five three, five ends. Really good bowl from both players there. Both final bowls were really, really good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right, Colin, thanks for your feedback. Hope you say, hope you had a good weekend. Hi, right, Matthew. I think you confused the. Uh, the score is on the top and the bottom, and the ends are in the middle. So it's five on the top, five in the middle is the ends, and three in the bottom is the other score. So it's five three at the moment to Ian and James after five ends. You do see some scoreboards where they are slightly different, where you see. The scores on the top two, but the majority of scoreboards are score on the top and the bottom, and the middle is for ends. Hi, Mike. Thanks for joining us. Some really good ends again from James here, leading off. Ian's just trying to drop around. It's good. Left a little, little ledge there for AJ to come into. Hi, Jeff. Hope you keep him well. Remember our battles back in the national final, national fours final, over 20 years ago now. Good effort from AJ there. Just, just pulled up. Thank you for joining us from Australia as well. Australia is definitely a country would love to see short mat. Don't you think it's played at all? Such a big bowls nation. Obviously got the good weather there as well. Outdoor bowls is the main format there. As we see, Ian's just trying to drop onto this. It'll tap on the shot bowl. Well, that's okay. Take that. Those were the days, stand right. Seem not 20 odd years ago now. Big hit coming. Oh, he's got an absolute perfect result there. Absolutely perfect. Might have made three of that as well. So, yeah, it's going to be. A measure here for three. Great turnaround shot there. Three 
three down to possibly three up. Brings them right back into the match. All square at least here now. It's currently 11-3 in the plate final. Dimitri Payne and Alex Clay winning that one. That yeah, was a very good shot, Martin, that one. Okay, <laughs> so, all square. Cheers, Chris. A good weekend. Great start from Jack there. Shot of the final so far, that one from AJ there. Almost got it for free, quite unbelievably. This, if it drops, it's brilliant. Yeah, absolutely perfect. Perfect leading from Jack there. This end. Forcing James to play some weight to this. One thing you do find in pairs that the lead's got to be expected to have to play some weighted shots. Yeah, that's the best shot. Yeah, it is a really good match, uh, Matthew, this one. So both of these pairs have come through some really tough matches to get here. I'm used to playing all day long. We started at nine o'clock this morning. It's um, just coming up to 20 to nine in the evening now. So these players have been playing almost 12 hours. They would have played three games in their group. This is, would have been their sixth knockout game as well. So, lots of matches to win this title. Really good position for the English pair here. That's not unusual, the amount of time they've been playing as well. Our singles, our world ranking singles events are similar. That's a two day, two day event they are. Play four or five group games on the Saturday and come back and play final group game and then your knockouts on the Sunday. Oh, that's a really good, that's a really good bowl. Played that really well. Perfect weight. Changed that head around completely. So they could run in the pairs yesterday, in the four, sorry, yesterday, nil, yeah. Good to see, good to see you playing at a high level and Chris as well. Yeah, AJ's taken it. Really good, good shot. <laughs> Last ball is the shot, the white one. He's got to be a little bit careful in there. He's good camaraderie between the two pairs as well. We appreciate the good shots being played. No, he's playing it with a little bit of weight down his back. He might just be a bit too wide there. Yeah. So one shot to AJ and Jack. So that's now six, five after seven ends. Alex Clay and Dimitri Payne won the plate competition.
Good start again from Jack. Just under the line here from James. Got a bit of chalk, that's good. Always handy. Not seen the Jack in the ditch much in this game actually, which is quite unusual. Oh, thanks Brenda. Thanks again for all your help. And Denise as well. Some really good feedback this weekend. Again, we do take it all on board, try and make some changes where we can. This is better here. Uh, very good. Very good bolt. Played it really well out. This game turning with every shot being played. Advantage swinging one way to the other. players to miss out this weekend able to make it one reason or another it's one of the highlights on the calendar for those that like, don't like the singles maybe good effort from AJ there it did sort of stun on to the jack giving him a chance for his next bowl see what Ian does here. Uh, Ian was involved in one of the best singles finals I've seen when he was up against Gary McNabb in the World Masters. That's good if that drops, that's even better. Yeah, that's good. Be a little bit careful here. He's playing it on his backhand. He's left-handed, so just rubbing down to it. Likes this. Is it just going to hang? Oh, great effort. Well, chance for Ian now to reach up for two. Thanks, Kenny. Glad you enjoyed the weekend. And yeah, we'll have a safe trip back to Lanzarote. Big draw this one for me. It needs to drop. Great effort if it drops. Two shots, yep, really good shot there. Yep. So it's seven six to Ian and James now. A tens play, two to go. Really tight, as you would expect. People often say which is the, the hardest discipline. I think pair, two bowl pairs is definitely the hardest discipline there is. If one of the players is not playing so well, you can really show on the scoreboard. in to get themselves either on level or in front going into the final end. Obviously Ian and James want to win the end to try and give themselves a bit of a buffer going into the last end. So Jack just reaching down here. Oh, that's okay. A 
again, big thank you to everyone that's tuned in this weekend and played this weekend. So I hope you've all enjoyed your experience. If it was your first weekend, I hope to see you all again. We will be opening at our charity pairs events, which are in the first weekend in June, 1st and 2nd of June. They go live on Friday, 1st of December, 7 p.m. We've got uh, two one-day pairs competitions. You can enter one, you can enter both. Deal there from AJ wanted to be onto the shot bowl. Pushed his two down now. Ian's got to try and get behind this. Don't want to be dropping well, more than one really if they're going to drop this end. AJ, it's good here, Ian. If he tucks this away, no, he's good. So he's two up in the head, one up on the scoreboard. AJ just did draw here to win the end, get them all square. I don't think you can afford to play up this now. It's going to just be a dead draw. Second. Oh, he's playing this. Okay. Got a good result with the last time he played big weight. Get it he's got it. And that's going to sit down. Yeah, that's going to be one shot. Really good. So, all square. Last end. Seven all. Nine ends played. I think we'll see. I think we'll see Jack go for this. I'm looking for the jacking clean. Hi Nancy, no, this is short map bowls. Just a different form of bowls played with the same bowls that they would use on the traditional flat green and indoor. Really good. I was only saying that we haven't seen Jack in the Ditch much this game. The last bowl on the last end and the first bowl of this end. Jack's just trying to drop that away. Very good. Yeah. Just drawing away, I think. Just draw and beat. Jack's last bowl is the shot. Interesting this. This is close. If this runs. Good effort. What this has done is if AJ does get down to this and get to uh, beat the blue bowl, it makes it very difficult for Ian. Nice oh, he's on a tighter road, so he needs to stay on now. That's okay. That's okay. Yeah, Ian just looking at the angles here now. To play weight on his backhand. Right, those you just join, it's all square. This is the last end, and it's currently the English pair of Jack Pye and AJ Brown that are holding match. Two bowls from Ian to come here, and one left for. AJ. Let's see what happens here. Big weight coming from Ian. Wants to try and clear. Uh, he's taken one away. Good effort. Still, I'm just seeing what happens if that black bowl was to take the blue shot bowl away, will the black bowl be shot, be close with the bowl in the ditch, I'm just looking at the angles here, 
James is seeing if he can tell what's the difference he's doing the old finger measure. Let's see what AJ plays here. It could play an absolute perler here. what happens there with the contact. Does Ian just try and draw the winner or does he try and just shunt that bowl up? Let's see what happens here. So, last bowl coming. He's like going for it again. I think it's going to be an umpire to come and measure this. Yeah, um umpire to determine. Umpire to determine the winner here. Let's have a little look. I wouldn't like to say. I always favour the one in the ditch, but... Let's see what happens. Good shot from Ian. Both two good shots there. Two really good shots. Cocktail. <laughs> It's the black bowl. Yeah. Yeah. Really good effort, really good bowl there from Ian to win the match. So that is the Bowls is Bowls World Pairs Masters title for Ian Hobson, James Shaw. Really good support for both players and both teams actually in that final. <laughs> so thank you very much for joining us. Really good final there. Uh, we'll be back again very early in the new year with the British Open from York. But again, thank you very much for joining us this weekend and we'll see you again soon.